Did you know that Los Angeles alone has enough asphalt roads to pave a single lane highway from Earth to the moon? The progression of asphalt from a naturally occurring substance to the predominant material for road infrastructure worldwide demonstrates its unique properties. Far from the vast stretches of road we travel today, ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Mesopotamians utilized asphalt for waterproofing, in embalming practices, and even in the construction of buildings, leveraging its preservative and water-resistant qualities. However, it was the arrival of the automobile and the ensuing demand for durable and smooth roadways that truly propelled asphalt into its central role in road construction. Unlike its predecessors, such as cobblestone and dirt paths, asphalt offered unmatched benefits. Its durability under various weather conditions, cost effectiveness in application and maintenance, and the smooth, safe travel surfaces it provides have facilitated not just local commutes, but also global commerce and connectivity. Where cobblestone roads were expensive, difficult to maintain, and uncomfortable for travel, and dirt paths became impassable in wet conditions, asphalt's seamless and resilient surface emerged as the ideal solution. This transformation was not just a leap in material technology. It was a revolution in urban development and transportation. By enabling the efficient, safe movement of goods and people, asphalt has underpinned economic growth and connectivity in the modern world. Today, over $10 billion is spent annually on asphalt in the United States, laying thousands of miles of road each year and solidifying its role as a foundational element of global infrastructure. So, how do they do it? At the heart of asphalt's versatility and strength lie two primary components. Bitumen, the same binding agent used by the Egyptians and collected from the surface of the Dead Sea to produce their asphalt, and aggregates, a blend of stone, sand, and gravel, which account for the bulk of asphalt's composition. Bitumen, a dense, viscous form of petroleum, acts as the glue that binds the aggregates together to form a durable paving material capable of withstanding the pressures of heavy traffic and extreme weather conditions. The process of bitumen begins deep within the earth, where it is extracted from crude oil via a process known as distillation. In this method, crude oil is heated in giant distillation towers, allowing the various hydrocarbon components to be separated based on their boiling points. Bitumen, being one of the heavier components, is collected from the lower sections of the distillation column. Another method of bitumen extraction involves oil sands, particularly prevalent in regions like Canada. Here, steam-assisted gravity drainage, SAGD, is employed, where steam is injected into the oil sands, reducing the viscosity of the bitumen so it can be pumped to the surface. Both processes rely on sophisticated equipment, including the towering distillation columns that dominate refineries and the intricate network of pipes and pumps used in SAGD operations. The aggregates, on the other hand, are sourced from quarries and gravel pits. The process begins with blasting, where explosives are used to break apart large rocks making them easier to handle. The fragmented rocks are then transported to crushers, where they are broken down into smaller, more uniform sizes. These crushers, robust and powerful machines, apply intense mechanical force using jaws or cones to crush the rock into evenly sized pieces suitable for asphalt production. Screening plants play a vital role in this stage, sorting the crushed stone and gravel by size and removing any unwanted material. This preparation ensures that the aggregates have the right size and consistency to mix perfectly with the bitumen, forming the strong and flexible material we know as asphalt. Following the extraction and initial preparation, both bitumen and aggregates undergo further processing to meet the high quality standards required for asphalt production. This initial processing phase is essential for ensuring the durability and reliability of the asphalt that paves our roads. For bitumen, Refinement is key to enhancing its quality and performance characteristics. Centrifuges play a significant role in this process, spinning the bitumen at high speeds to separate impurities and unwanted particles, thereby purifying the substance. Additionally, vacuum distillation units are employed to further refine the bitumen. These units lower the pressure around the bitumen, allowing it to boil at a lower temperature. This process removes more volatile components, concentrating the bitumen into a more stable and consistent material suitable for mixing with aggregates. On the aggregate side, the goal is to achieve uniform size and cleanliness, critical factors in the final asphalt strength and compactability. After initial crushing, the aggregates are subjected to thorough washing to remove any remaining dust, clay, or other impurities that could weaken the asphalt. 
Specialized washing equipment, including log washers and sand screws, are used to agitate and scrub the aggregates, ensuring they are clean before proceeding to the next stage. The sizing of aggregates is equally important, achieved through a series of screening processes. Vibrating screens sort the washed aggregates into various size categories, ensuring each batch has a consistent size distribution. This uniformity is essential for the proper binding of the bitumen and aggregates, ultimately affecting the asphalt's load-bearing capacity and resistance to deformation. In the final stage of asphalt production, the purified bitumen and uniformly sized aggregates are combined into the final mix, a process that takes place within the confines of an asphalt plant. This blending is achieved through two primary types of equipment, drum mixers and batch plants. Drum mixers facilitate a continuous mixing process, combining the heating and mixing of bitumen and aggregates in one go, which allows for the asphalt to be produced and laid down in a swift and efficient manner. Batch plants, by contrast, handle the mixing in individual batches, offering a higher degree of control over the mix, making it possible to tailor the asphalt to specific project requirements with greater precision. Once the asphalt mix is ready, its temperature is critical for successful paving, necessitating its transportation in specialized vehicles. Insulated trucks are deployed for this purpose, designed to transport the hot asphalt mix from the plant to the construction sites with minimal temperature loss. These vehicles are integral to the paving process, ensuring the mix remains at an optimal temperature and retains its workability upon arrival at the site. The trucks are equipped with heavy-duty insulation and, in some cases, heating elements to prevent the asphalt from cooling prematurely, maintaining its ideal viscosity for efficient spreading and compaction. The laying of asphalt starts with careful preparation of the roadbed, involving grading and compacting the base to create a stable foundation. Graders are first to take the stage, their blades skillfully leveling the ground to establish a uniform grade that ensures proper drainage. Following this, compactors or rollers take over, their heavy drums vibrating and pressing down on the soil and base materials to pack them densely. This process eliminates voids and prepares a solid foundation that is vital for the durability of the asphalt pavement. Such thorough preparation of the base is essential as it directly influences the longevity and resilience of the road surface. Upon the compacted and leveled base, the heated asphalt mix, delivered at the optimal temperature, is carefully laid down by paving machines. These machines ensure an even distribution of the asphalt across the prepared surface, adjusting the thickness to meet the specifications of the project. Following closely behind are the rollers, which perform the important task of compaction. This phase involves several passes over the asphalt to achieve the desired density and surface smoothness, with temperature monitoring throughout to ensure the asphalt doesn't cool too quickly, which could affect its final strength and durability. The skillful coordination between pavers and rollers is necessary, ensuring that the asphalt is adequately compacted while still malleable, sealing off any potential voids and creating a uniform, durable surface ready to withstand traffic and weather. Special techniques and adjustments to the asphalt mix are often required for different projects, reflecting the versatility of asphalt as a paving material. For highways, a denser asphalt mix might be used to endure the heavy traffic load, whereas residential roads might use a mix designed for quieter, smoother rides. Customizations can also include the incorporation of additives or modifiers to enhance performance in specific conditions, such as high temperature resistance for areas prone to heat waves or added flexibility for colder regions to prevent cracking. These tailored approaches ensure that regardless of the application, whether it's a bustling city avenue or a quiet suburban lane, the asphalt pavement meets the unique demands of its environment, showcasing the adaptability and engineering prowess that go into modern road construction. The reuse of asphalt plays a major role in the industry, not only for its environmental benefits, but also for its cost-effectiveness and efficiency in modern road construction. The recycling process begins with the collection of asphalt from old roads, a task achieved using milling machines. These powerful machines grind up the top layer of the asphalt, which is then transported to the asphalt plant. Here, the reclaimed asphalt pavement, wrap, is carefully sorted and cleaned to remove any debris or impurities that could negatively impact the quality of the new mix. This process ensures that the recycled material maintains a high standard, suitable for reintroduction into new paving projects. Once prepared, the wrap is added to the mix at the asphalt plant, typically during the initial mixing stage with the virgin aggregates and bitumen. This incorporation can vary in proportion, 
with some mixes consisting of a substantial percentage of recycled material, depending on project requirements and specifications. The addition of wrap to the asphalt mix not only conserves raw materials and reduces waste, but also lowers the overall cost of the paving project.